Hi, it's another fantastic day in Cota de Casa, Southern California. I'm at a little botanical garden. Up here we have some buckwheat. Over here we have some sage, our sea lavender. But we have this plant here, a little shrub. He's native to the Western United States. And this is California lilac. A lot of people refer it simply by its genus Ceanothus. It's also known as a mountain lilac, wild lilac, black brush, or a blue blossom. So there's over 60 different varieties of this Ceanothus. Now some uh, grow low to the ground, like ground cover. Some are more this size, called medium size, and some can be trained as tall as trees. There's different shades of gray, different types of leaves. Some have more bluish shades of flowers, some are more purple. You can even find some that are in white. And here, I have a different variety. When you put them side by side, you can tell the one in my left hand, right? It's a little darker green and glossier, okay? And it's got more deepish, bluish, or lavender flowers, all right? So they come in all sorts of varieties. And this one here, this is called Ceanothus concha. It's a cross between Ceanothus papillosus and Ceanothus impressus. It is one of the oldest and most reliable hybrids. It's common from San Diego up to Santa Barbara and the San Joaquin Valley. This plant is an evergreen. It's fast growing. It's very hardy, drought tolerant, can grow about four feet high, four feet wide. In fact, sometimes it can grow as high as eight feet high in milder climates. It also can recover from temperatures as low as zero degrees Fahrenheit. It's this very resilient plant here, or shrub. The stems, up close here, all right, they're very green and shiny. The leaves, they turn upward. See, they all kind of turn upward here. All right, and they're very glossy green, and they're very holly-like. Okay, they have an oval shape or ovate shape here, and the serrations on the edges of this leaf. And not all varieties of Ceanothus have serrations, but this one does. And they all work together to reduce evaporation and transpiration of water off this plant. Now the stems, I'm going to pull one off, there we go. So the stems, they lead up to this panicle or cluster of deep blue flowers, sort of a very unique shaped flower with bright blue sepals, showy whitish petals, and a long stamen and a white tip. And in this one you can see the little anthers there in yellow, pollen on the top. Okay, see that one there? All right, this is a great standalone plant or planted tightly together for a hedge or a screen. And during the summer, this plant is dormant. It almost looks dead, but don't overwater it in the summer or you actually kill the plant. But in late summer or fall, our California lilac, it comes to life with these deep blue flowers. And then again in spring, and right now it's middle of April. It's a great attractor of bees and you may even get an occasional butterfly. This plant is easy to grow at home, but it's very difficult to transplant once it gets started. Okay, if you want to propagate it, our Ceanothus is easiest if you dig up the runners or suckers that you can find underneath. All right, this one doesn't have any that I could see, but it doesn't mean they're not underground. You can just dig them up or they start to pop up, that's the best time to do it. But you can also propagate it by cuttings. So you take a stem, like this one here, all right? Cut off about eight inches. You pull off the leaves, or the lower leaves. You cut a V-shape under one of the nodes. You dip it into root hormone. You place it into a vase with water. Then you put it in direct sunlight. And in about two weeks, you ought to have a little sprouting cutting. 
Wow, this guy's beautiful. Look at these flowers. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. Anyway, you know, I have to say it's also a little sticky, right? And it's, um, you know, serrated, so it is rough to grab or hold. But it's a great plant. This one's just doing fine in our little garden here, up at Cota de Casa. These beautiful flowers. Wow. All right. Well, I hope you liked uh, our video of our California lilac. And please have a great day. Thanks. Bye.